papers and comments. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. And I, all I'm seeing, grammar. No, you don't have anything to make up. That's the only thing that you have out there okay. that you can get some credit for. Okay. So I'm just commenting. I looked at everybody's draft. And the final exam. It's due Tuesday by 10 a.m., but you don't have to come. But if you want to come and make sure that it got turned in, you can come in and say, did you get my essay? And did, you, and, and, and did I get the discussion board finished? You can ask me that. But you do not have to come to class next week on Tuesday. That's the only day. You only go to your final exam times, and mine you don't have to come to because it is, you can turn everything in online. But don't. I've, I've been dealing with something at Cooper, and I, 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 my, my facilitator there said something like, I need to talk to you about an issue. So I thought she was going to talk about the student that I gave a zero to a project on. Hey, look, I have post students today. The post students never showed up yesterday. The facilitator's in the room and goes, I don't know where they are. It's kind of interesting. So, um, and New Deal's not quite ready yet, so we're, they're in the process. Morning. They're in the process of transitioning classes. So. so somebody's staring at the TV going, oh, who's that woman? It's a woman that teaches English. Taught in that room for 10 or 12 years. Taught in a different one for about six. So when they, I got, I was hired by New Deal to teach dual credit English, and then I, other schools wanted to use me on ITV. So at one point in time, I had like six or seven schools on ITV, in different at different times. I made it interesting. So I've been doing ITV a long time. That's why I get frustrated. Good morning, Post. I'm going to hang on until maybe New Deal will show up today since they didn't show up Thursday. They had something else going on. So. I just need to talk. That's my problem. Didn't have to excited, girl. Yeah, you lose points if you don't have more excited. So if you want to get out and work on did you bring a computer or anything with no. you? Okay. Um, the paper is due tonight by midnight, okay? Um, I can't guarantee when I'll get it back to you guys, which creates an issue with that discussion board. But your final's not until Tuesday at 10 a.m. is when it's due by. So I'm going to try to get stuff back to you guys as fast as I can. But I, I hate, I'm not going to repeat myself because I'm going to allow a little modification on the discussion board. So, because I've commented on everybody that turned in a draft, I've commented on it. That's how I phrase that. Even the people that turned it in late. So, but I think I think we're actually pretty good in this class. Okay, so you know what you need to make up. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's just that discussion board you've got to finish. Okay, let me come back in. I don't, I don't want to sort. I want to show all rows in the great book. Um, Yeah, I'm, Kale still hasn't turned in a draft. So, see, I, I have his. I think he may be the only one who hasn't turned in a draft. Yeah, he's, not, he's the only one that didn't turn in a draft. So, oh, gosh. You know what? 
You're not the only one that didn't finish the compare and contrast discussion board. Oh, look, I'm going to have new deal kids today. Yay. Oh, they'll probably call them out for something else. Pictures or something. I don't know. Random drug testing, probably. <laughs> you know, it always happened in the college English class, so. Okay. Y'all, hurry up, get settled so I can, I want to go over stuff so that you'll have some time to work, okay? Um, I get to wear caps at post. That's kind of cool. Were you allowed to wear hats in school? Um, not in the classroom. Yeah. I mean, like Did you wear them when you, when you left the building? You could put it on as soon as you walked out of the building? Yeah. Yeah. We could never put them on. Like you know, it's college. You can wear caps to college when you're having a bad hair day. Okay. Alexandra's already turned in her paper. So. Okay. Okay. Today's seventh. Oh, it's that's right. It's Pearl Harbor Day, isn't it? And Alex dropped the class. He decided he wasn't going to get the paper done. I thought, thank you. <laughs> trying to trying to do a call, an online a class on your phone just isn't. You need a big. You need a phone the size of a tablet. All right. So I'm hoping with everybody's here. So let's talk a little bit about what I saw in the draft. Um, and so you need to go in and check my comments. You might have gotten a 25, but I might have said, guess what? You've got first person in there. There's no first person in the essay. I know it's your opinion. Don't say, I believe um, this imp is important to me because I don't care that you are in, you're not in it. It's a formal academic document. You don't use first person in a formal academic document. You don't use you or your unless it's in a quote. That's it. Uh, because a formal academic document, all right? So watch out for that. Um, boy, I saw a lot of short drafts out of this section. Uh, somebody had a little over 350 words. Hey, this paper 600 word minimum. Every, if you are, if you have 500 words, you start off with an 80 in the class. That's 20% of the grade. So you can't afford to be short on this, and you can't count the work cited as part of the essay. It's 600 words in the body of the essay, okay? From the introduction to the conclusion, I'll give you the 10 or 12 words you get in the heading. But don't count the work cited as part of that. Um, so you've got to have the word count. You And one of the reasons you're not having the word count is I got a lot of drafts that didn't even have quotes in them. And if you didn't have quotes, then you didn't have a work cited, so you didn't get full credit on the draft. That's what happened. Um, because it was supposed to be an honest attempt at a draft. Uh, and then I'm reading your comments. I looked at y'all's peer revision comments, and I was like, nobody bothered to tell you you didn't have any quotes? Nobody bothered to tell you your essay was really, really short? Come on. So go read my comments, which means go back into week 14, click on it where it says turn in draft of argument of essay here, click on that, and then there'll be a thing where you can say, it'll, it'll, I can't show you on mine because I don't have a draft in there, okay? I'm not a student. I'm an instructor. So if you go to week 14, turn in the argu uh, argumentative draft, click on the where it says view, submit, click on that, and then it will allow you to view my comments. You have to follow, you have to keep, you have to click on one or two more things after that, but it'll let you, it's got a dirty screen. Yeah, I do that all the time with my slave. I, I'm like, what am I supposed to use on this? These are expensive little computers we have, you know. Okay, so you need to read my comments because it, it's, it's going to be an issue. And some of you, I said, you got a lot of work to do today because the paper's due by midnight tonight, okay? It's due by the midnight tonight. If you don't get it in tonight, and if you turn it in at 12.30, I'm going to count it late because we've been working on this, in essence, since the beginning of November. Five weeks is, I've taught this paper in two weeks before, and I've had kids not have any problems getting it done. So you've been procrastinating. And I'm sorry, I know there's basketball going on in the world. I know there was football going on. But you signed up for a college class, you got to get your work done, all right? So make sure you've got enough words. Your quotes are part of the essay. So if you don't have quotes, then you're short words, okay? So when you put a quote in, the easiest way to get more words is tell me what the quote meant in your own words. Because now what have you done? You've got the quote, and then you get the benefit of another 10, 15 words about what it meant. That's a good way to get your length, okay? If you're not sure how to do the referencing, remember we went over, if you were in class, we went over a sample paper last week. Um, you've got a copy of this 
The only thing that I really pointed out that was wrong was that they underlined work cited. It shouldn't be underlined. I actually have a scribble on it where I had to do it in this one. So this is what it should look like. You know, there's a standard. There's no extra spacing. I had somebody turn, somebody in this class turned it in. They didn't indent the paragraphs. Oh, my gee. Come on, people. You indent paragraphs. I'm so tired of writing indent paragraphs. Double space your papers. You know, if I get a paper single space, there's no telling. I'm liable to just blow up, you know, and put a zero on it and send it back because that's just not following directions. And that's, it's sad because we've been, we're into five weeks in here, okay? Well, six, we're at 14, 15 weeks now. There's no reason to get things wrong anymore. So if you're not sure how to integrate a quote, how to do parenthetical reference, use the sample essay or ask your facilitator. Okay, Mr. Rathburn, uh, probably, you know. But you can always go say, hey, I just want you to see, did I do the integration? Did I do parenthetical reference? Just go ask the teacher one question. Is my parenthetical reference right? If they say no, then go look it up, okay? But when you go into, and by the way, I can see one, two, three, four, five. On the compare and contrast this revision uh, discussion board, it's in, what did I say, week? Seven or eight. Six, seven or eight, okay? I had a lot of people didn't finish it, so you couldn't get credit. You have to have looked at two. So I'm willing to give you credit if you'll go back and do that, all right? Um, go, when you go into course content, you've got everything's in here, okay? Actually, go into course resources. If you're not sure how to set up the Works Cited, how to do all of that, you have access to videos that will tell you. Let me go back over here. So when you go down, you're going to see how. Uh, I've got to remember to do that. How to do, how to quit, how to do a hanging indent in Word. How to quickly create a works cited. How to use the Purdue Al Citation Generator for a website. There's a video that I show you how to do it. So you know if you are just like I can't find anything in SPC databases. Fine, you can't make an A, but you got to have two sources. Okay. So if you found a website that had some good information and you're not sure how to set it up, don't just give me a URL. A URL is not a citation. A URL is an address on the Internet. You, when you went into that source, there had to be a title on the page. There had to be a copyright somewhere. You've got to go find that information. Don't just say, oh, I'll put a URL on down because I'm not going to count it as a source. Okay? So go in and use how to use the Purdue Owl Citation Generator for a website. I have a quick video on that. Um, Let's see. There's, and then you've got email and article with the correct citation. You can still re do research. I've got somebody in my ADM in class goes, I can't find my so any sources on video games. Did she not pay attention to the dadgum sample essay, which is about video games? You know, see how, frust see how frustrating it is? I mean, there are three sources on this sample essay about video games, all right? And yet we can't seem to find them. Okay, so use the, work, the course resources to help you out, okay? Um, and so when you're going to notice parenthetical reference is always at the end of the sentence. It's not right at the end of the quote or the paraphrase. It's at the end of the sentence. If you give me dollars, if you give me statistics, um, if, you say, if you say anything that implies the knowledge came from, like scientists, researchers have discovered, if you tell me researchers have discovered and you give me what they discovered, you have to give the source for that. That's somebody else's information. That's plagiarism when you don't give credit, okay? I'm trying to remember what I saw because I did these. I did y'all's class last night at home looking at the drafts. So, but don't just go, I'll just turn in something so I've got a paper in because those are going to take forever to grade, okay? So one of the other issues then becomes you have the discussion board that you have to do, the reflective discussion board, which has to be done um, to do the final exam. So let me get into course content. Come into this week. It's due this Friday. Guess what? I'm not going to have all your papers graded by Friday. I can just tell you that. It's not going to happen. Not unless I, unless I can fly through them. And the problem is, is when there's a lot of er errors, they take longer to grade. So that's my issue is that I like to comment on everything. And I'm going to have to pull back on that. So on the reflective discussion board, I'm going to flip. Okay, so far I'm the only one in it. You can go ahead and work on this this week. You can get stuff done ahead of time in this. And basically all it says is I want you to tell me 
when you click on create a thread or you can go when you click on what you've done I've got it you have to hit edit if you've done it saved it as a sample you have to hit edit um, it asks you to tell me what the assignment was so the first one's narrative you have to tell me what the assignment was what you wrote about, what you got right, what you got wrong, what did you learn from the essay. That's what you have to do. You're just doing basic little summaries of the assignments. So the narrative, the compare and contrast, and the argumentative summary. You can go ahead and write about the summary because you've gotten that back, graded. Argumentative, I've looked at your drafts and told you what you don't have done on your drafts. You could actually go ahead, I will let you go ahead and finish argumentative with what I, the comments I put on your drafts. If I didn't put a whole lot of comments, you go, looks like I was doing okay. She didn't, at least I got my citations done. The work side, it looks okay. You can at least give me that so you can get this done. But this is due Friday. If you don't get it done until Monday, I'm not going to count it late. Did you hear me? I'm not going to count it late, so don't avoid it. It's 75 points. That's almost 10, that's 7.5% of your final grade. So get it done. If you don't do it, you're taking yourself down a letter grade, okay? But remember, when you're in it, down here, until you have it done, you can save it as a draft. I'm going to hit cancel right now. But if you go back in and, and don't, so don't submit it until you have all of them done. Save as a draft. But what happens is, when you're in here, if you don't see it, if you come in and you don't see it, you're going to see there's three options, create thread, grade discussion forms. That's for me. You won't have that one. Display and search. If you click display and you don't see your draft, click show all, and that will show you. So I'm the only one who's been in the discussion board. So you need to get that done. Don't procrastinate, okay? The other thing coming up this week is that you have your grammar. You have all of your makeup quizzes. They opened up Monday morning, and they closed grammar quizzes and the chapter quizzes. So if you missed them, you have to go to the week in which they were assigned because that's I can't put them in a new week. So if you missed a quiz, go look at my grades. Go look at my grades and see which ones have grades on them. Boy, it's getting this is getting touchy. Or not it's not being touchy anymore, it's being cranky. So in announcements, and I don't have any new announcements, if you can't see it, click on the word announcements over here on the left. It tells you chapters one and two quizzes, week one, chapters three and four, week two, grammar quiz one, week three. Chapter 6 and 7, week 4, grammar quiz 2, week 6. Chapter 16 is 10, grammar quiz 3 is week 11. So that's where you go to make those up. You already know you don't have to make any of those up. You probably have to make up some, don't you? So, But you need to go in and look. So don't send me a message saying, what do I need to make up? You go to your grade, but go to my grades, and it should show you which ones you haven't taken. If you don't have a grade, you didn't take it, except for grammar quiz 4. Grammar quiz 4 is this Thursday. Okay, you can take it during class. How's that for nice? And that way you know it's there. So you go to week 15, and you will see, flip over, okay, right down here, it says grammar quiz for a little of all of them. You'll, you'll have, it's the same 10 questions. The errors will either be comma splices to use run on, subject verb pronoun and student agreement, or ask apostrophe errors. There won't be more than one error in a sentence, and it won't, I won't, combine apostrophes and fuse run on. That won't happen. So you have to kind of zone in and be very focused, okay? So if you're making up a quiz you missed, go look at, don't just look at when you first go into a week, like when you go into, let's go to, we'll just go to week one. Because somebody said, I can't find week two, it's not in there. So when you go in and do this, if you just do that, yeah, you don't see it. It's, but look, remember your button over here, scroll all the way down and you're gonna see grammar, chapter quiz one, is not open, it looks like somebody has to take chapter uh, two quiz. Actually, Caleb had to say, I had, so that's why it's open. So, I mean, he's not in this class, so, all right. So scroll down, don't, don't send me a course message saying I can't find it. Search the whole page on the week assignments, okay? So, don't italicize quotes in your essay. They're not italicized. Don't italicize the titles of articles. If they're in quotation marks from your sources, particularly if you got them off of SBC, they will not be italicized. If you don't have an author, the article title is what you use to intro it. You put in quotation marks, it should look just like it does 
on those already formatted citations that you got from the sources, okay? Because um, I've seen some really strange things. And I'm like, why are people italicizing titles that are in quotation marks? And it's not you guys. Those sophomores I have from Lubbock Cooper made the same mistake on their last presentation and on their character analysis. I'm like, oh. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions about something in my comments, send me an email, not a course message. Because, see, can you, did y'all, could y'all hear the ding? That tells me that I have an email. So I'll go see if somebody sent me a message. Oh, yeah. Somebody, one of my students sent me a message in the 8 o'clock class saying, hey, I don't have a grade on this. And I said, you never sent it. That's why you don't have a grade. It just came in. So, okay. So. But I'll be honest, at this point, if you don't have your articles, I can't be a whole lot of help. I'm actually going to, when I get back to my office, I'm going to start printing my Monday, Wednesday finals because their papers were due last night. So. So, do you have any questions? And then Thursday, you can take Grammar Quiz 4 during class if you want to. So, do you have a computer? Yes. Yeah, bring it with you and take it during class. Okay. That would make sense. Then you're done. You have to be here. You might as well take it in class. Yes. Okay. Bring it up here and let me see it. I'd be glad to help. So, I'm doing like the generator. Are you on for you out? This is what I what came up from Purdue Owl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have like everything in, and then it's just the author, but okay. So there's like no author. Okay. So do me a favor. Scroll down to the very bottom of the go all the way down. Social media code of conduct. To copyright Association of Women Health Obstetric and Neil Nanders. So now I remember your paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have a corporate author and you okay. have a date, a copyright date of 2021. Okay. So it was, it was, oh, it's not. Yeah, I tried to do it as a touch screen. <laughs> That's so crazy. So go back. There's not a publication date on this? There's like. Uh, For media interviews. Okay. So you actually have a publication date. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can put that in. Okay. Put the date in and put, um, Go scroll back down. Let's look at her name and see what it says, where her name was at. I would go ahead and ca call her the author because it's in there. So okay. you wouldn't put somebody else's name in if you were going to contact. So so just put that El Cordy, mm -hmm. comma, Mary Elizabeth okay. in the author's name, okay? okay? And that should be enough. And it will create that citation for you. So Lauren is doing using a website, and it's about... Paternity leave, is that right? Okay. And then I have another question. Okay. So this is like the same article. And there it had like chief, like all of her credentials. You still have to tell me, you're going to have to tell me um, the title of the, you're going to have to put her name in parenthetical reference. Get rid of the period inside those closing quotation marks. See where your quote oh. is? Okay. Come after it. Hit a space. Go parentheses and put El Cardi. Okay. And put the period, close the parentheses and put a period. Okay. And then, because you've put El Cardi on the work side, mm -hmm. that's, that tells me how I can find it. I don't have any problems with you having all that said associated with women's health and surfing on that. Okay. Because um, that's all right. You're, you know, you're telling me who that person was that, you, that you're getting the information from, okay? okay? But it's found in this document. I have to be able to match up a quote with whatever's listed first on the work side. So since I told you to use her name, Mm -hmm. put her name in as the source of this particular article. That's why I need El Cardi in the parenthetical reference. Okay. So when that information doesn't matter, match what comes first, don't give me a website. Don't tell me your source is Gale Opposing Viewpoints. That's not a source. That's a database. Mm -hmm. um, so if you've got something off of Opposing Viewpoints, 
and there was no author, you have to use the title of the article because that's what should be listed first on your works cited. Mm -hmm. And you don't alphabetize by A, N, or V. Okay. Because all lots of things begin with A, N, or V. Mm -hmm. So you go with the next word. Okay. Okay? Thank you. So almost too much information for you. Just put El Cardi as the author, okay? Mm -hmm. And her first name, Mary Elizabeth, or whatever it was, okay? And then click generate, and that should, it should have it all there for you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I was listening to the radio this morning and they said that they actually said that some schools, somebody's doing homework as being bad, and they actually said that there are schools that are wanting to take away mandatory homework for K through 5. They're giving them, instead of that, they're giving them uh, brain things to do, like research projects or other things, but it has to be about something they're passionate about. I thought it was kind of interesting. So... It's amazing how people can't find articles, but I can. Okay. We've already had to put in our fall preferences. It's crazy.
My only other request is if you're writing in Times New Roman, please do at least 12 points, Times New Roman, not 10. Or 14 is preferable with Times New Roman. I'm, because I saw a lot of tiny type last night and it was driving me crazy. Remember that you can, if you need to, use uh, the tutor.com and course resources. They could, you know, it's not due until midnight. You could submit it to them tonight at 8 and have them look over it too.
Gabe, I just responded to your message. So I'm going to go scan this. I'll be right back. We didn't have the ability to scan an email. I used to fax stuff. It took forever. And life is a little bit easier than it used to be. Except I have to lock down. I get my stuff in now.
Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Does someone have a question? Quizzes one, three, and four are Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Okay. Are you waving goodbye? Okay. All right. No. Nobody said anything. All right. Say it again. Uh, quizzes one, three, and four aren't open for us. One, three, and four? Okay. Let me go in and look. Okay. Okay, I need to get in this section. That would help. I keep going into the spring courses instead of the fall ones because they sit on fall. That's been crazy. Okay. Nobody needs to make up quiz one, I'll tell you right now. Because I'm sitting here looking and everybody has taken it. So that's why it's not open. I only opened up the ones that needed that had people who had not taken them. So it looks like yeah, everybody's taking it. On quiz one. Quizzes three and four. It's the exact same thing. So that's why they're not open. You guys have taken them. Everybody took it. You don't get to retake. There are no retakes. This is college. This is not high school. I don't have to give up. I don't have to allow you to improve your grade, okay? I don't have time for that. So that's why you don't see quizzes one, three, and four, because you already took them.
कौन समझता है Well, you, would you ask me a tough question? Broadcast. Okay, hold on. I'm going. I'm going into. Where do you want? I hate all the pop-ups in Purdue. Well. I'm just going to be honest. So you've got the you've got the citation. Okay. Okay. I just like when I'm like. Uh, or you could just say according. You could say according to. Was it an interview, or? It sounds like it's TED Talk. Okay. Um, and what's the title of it? How to turn in According to a broadcast entitled, and you would italicize the title of the broadcast. Okay. Just do it that way. Your um, conference is scheduled to end I mean, in two it's minutes. Not like the person of any importance who, who does the speech. I mean, you could say according to so and so in in his or her broadcast and give the title. Does that make sense? Okay. I have 180. I'm Mr. Brave in that big class. No, I'm excited. You guys just don't under, even understand. It was sitting at 400 for a long time. Because there's so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like ten. 90, 94 presentations. Yeah. 93. I didn't get one. Wouldn't be so bad the last two or three days. Your conference is now over. Goodbye. Okay, we're done. over and print papers now. Yeah. Sorry. I had one of the students at New Deal said, I only have a URL and there's no title. There's nothing. Guess what? There's always something on a web page. You, in other words, like even if you find a PDF, you had to have gone somewhere else to get the PDF. And it pops up like that. It's really strange. Okay, so you're, the discussion board, you're summarizing what you did on all the major assignments, okay? The final exam is your research. You, the, the discussion board is the research for the final exam, so you've gone back and looked at all of them. So um, it basically is 
have you changed as a writer from the beginning of the semester to the end? And what changed you? You know, that's what I'm asking. I'm asking you to go back and think about, did you learn anything in this class? That's really what the whole point is. And I'm going to tell you, it's amazing how many kids say, well, I've learned that I'm not very good at grammar and punctuation, and which has nothing to do with writing, really, except it makes your, what you write sensible. You know what I'm saying? I didn't learn anything about writing, but I learned that I need to work on comma classes. Um, they pick up on it. You know, that always amazes me. You didn't learn that you have to have organization. You didn't learn this. You didn't learn that. So. And obviously, it's you know, a little frustrating, but hey, we can live with it. I get paid no matter whether you do well or poorly. And I would like everybody to be better writers. So just re the best writing is concise. Have long convoluted sentences. My goodness, poor girls who wrote me seven and a half pages, which was 2,300 words when the assignment was 500. Minimum. Yeah, so don't do that. Okay. So I've got, I'm not, my Abernathy kids, I have a lot of long papers from them. The first ones I have to grade. So. Guys, see y'all Thursday. Let me sure to get your paper in tonight. Mm-hmm.